interface in Windows 10 is designed for you to quickly find and launch applications, documents, configure settings, and organize your environment to make your experience working with Windows 10 fun and productive at the same time. Let's take a look at the Windows 10 user interface. When you first log in into Windows 10, you see Start button, which you can click to get access to additional features, Cortana bar, then you have list of applications that are linked to the task bar. Then you have a status bar. And then you have a very uh, quick button to get to the desktop. It's barely visible here on the task bar. First, let's look at the start button. When you click the start button, you see a combination of what was available in Windows 10, Windows 8, and uh, got morphed a little bit uh, when Windows 10 was introduced. So this is the classic start menu. Uh, you see the list of all the applications, uh, which starts with recently added applications. And then in alphabetical order, based on each letter, it shows you what's installed on your computer. Now, some applications, as you can see, they have this arrow to the right, and which means that this is a folder and applications underneath of this error, uh, actual applications that you would need to click that are located in that particular folder. Here on the left, there is a section um, that shows you different functions, frequently used functions that are available. For example, the user ID for, that I'm using to record this video called video recording, and uh, this button shows you that you can switch between different users in your computer. You can expand this view of the start uh, and switch between the users. This is what this first button is for. You can access documents. Uh, for the given user, access pictures, or access settings um, available uh, to you as a Windows 10 user. You can also obviously shut down, uh, power off, and there are different options for sleep, shut down, and restart of the computer. On the right, uh, it's a tiles menu, which is useful for touchscreen devices, and there are three categories for the tiles, uh, create, play, and explore. Uh, and it's, like I said, it's especially useful for the users that um, using the touchscreen devices. As you can see, Tiles is Microsoft's invention, and uh, they are very useful if you don't just use the mouse, but use rather touchscreen, because they're bigger and much easier to click. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button in your browser. Also, please help your friends to learn this topic faster by sharing this video with them. And if you would like to be the first one to know about new videos to help you reach your goals faster, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.